Sean Combs, federally indicted. Eric Adams, federally indicted. Brothers and sisters, they going after any black man of influence, of power, of means. If you get out of line, they chopping. Brothers and sisters, I had to go live for a minute tonight. I had to go live for a minute tonight because about an hour ago, I received a notification. About an hour ago, I received the notification that New York City Mayor Eric Adams, New York City Mayor Eric Adams has just been indicted by the federal government. New York City Mayor Eric Adams has just been indicted by the federal government, becoming the first sitting mayor in the long history of New York City to receive a federal indictment while he was still serving office. Eric Adams is the first mayor in the history of New York City to be indicted by the feds while still sitting in office. Mayor Eric Adams is a former police officer. Mayor Eric Adams is a former police officer. Once a police officer, always a police officer. Once a police officer, always a police officer and they still let him go down the police took down the police the police took down the police now according to the reports the indictment is sealed new york city mayor eric adams the largest city in america most populous city in america most important city in america new york city mayor eric adams indictment is sealed they're supposed to give us more information tomorrow. So the biggest entertainment black man in New York is behind bars. And the biggest political black man in New York is behind bars. I hope you're paying attention to this. The biggest entertainment black man in New York City is behind bars. And the biggest political black man in New York City may soon be behind bars. Brothers and sisters, I told y'all that these, this triple eclipse season that we in right now, it's the ancestors returning in the whirlwind, begging us to wake up and get organized because the Caucasian power structure is bringing the to your front door. Whether you like it or not, the slave are in the black community and they are on a search mission, whether we like it or not. We have a triple eclipse. Harriet Tubman came to us on September the 17th through an eclipse. Nat Turner is coming to us October 2nd in an eclipse. Danger Phil Newby, who died for John Brown in the Harpers Ferry slave raid, he's coming to us in the almost eclipse of October the 17th. What are we going to do? November 19th, Pluto goes into Aquarius for the first time since the Haitian Revolution. I'm going to say it again. On November the 19th, the 13th anniversary of when I received my name, Ifa Tunde Ogunta Day, the planet Pluto will go into the sign of Aquarius for the first time in 225 years. <clears throat> the last time that happened, the Haitian Revolution. The last time that happened, the French Revolution. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius, the American Revolution. There's to African people, not just in America. My Caribbean African family, please. My South American African family, please. My Central American African family, please. My Canadians and my Australians, my British Africans, my French, my Irish Africans, my Belgium Africans. The message is in the stars. We're walking into an age of rebellion, revolution. There will be conflict. There will be. It's not a coincidence that they. Our brother, Marcellus Williams, yesterday, he was innocent. They took. We living in a revolutionary time, black people. 
Whether you like it or not, we're back in the 1940s. Whether you like it or not, we're back in the 1940s. They just our brother Javion McGee in Henderson, North Carolina. They just our brother Javion McGee. So let's look at this now. Since the eclipse, we have a black man. We have a black man. We have a black man in Henderson, North Carolina. We have a black man in Missouri. We have a major music mogul behind bars and for the first time in the history of New York City, black mayor Eric Adams, the first mayor to be indicted by the feds while he was still in office. When are we gonna wake up and smell the coffee? When are we gonna wake up and smell the coffee we whether you choose to back or not that's up to us and if you don't back it won't be a it'll be a if you don't back it won't be a it will be a it will be a I thought that the occasion was right for me to review the Willie Lynch letter of 1712. Why does Dr. Umar want to review the Willie Lynch letter of 1712 with you all tonight? Get your tickets for the Nat Turner Earth Day Solar Return. Go to natturnerlibrary.com. Get your tickets for the Nat Turner Solar Return Eclipse. Go to natturnerlibrary.com. For my HBCU Edward Waters University students in Jacksonville community. For my HBCU Edward Waters University students in Jacksonville, Florida community. The university postponed my visit due to the hurricane warning. The university postponed my visit due to the hurricane warning. There will be a new date coming soon. Dr. Umar, God willing, will be at HBCU Edward Waters University, but it will not be tomorrow. Because Orisha Oya is bringing the hurricane. Orisha Oya is bringing the hurricane. We pray for safety for all of our South, our North Florida Africans who might be struck by the divine power of that hurricane. Make sure you get out of town, lock down the house, guard the windows, do whatever you got to do because the forces of nature are going to do their divinely appointed job, whether we like it or not. Protect yourself, my Florida Africans. Protect yourself, my Florida Africans. Protect yourself, Florida Africans. Now, the reason I want to review some sections of the Willie Lynch letter, brothers and sisters. The reason I want to review some sections of the Willie Lynch letter, brothers and sisters, is because what they're doing to Eric Adams is exactly what they were taught by Willie Lynch. What they're doing to Sean Puffy Combs is exactly what they were taught to do by Willie Lynch. What they did to Jonathan Majors is exactly what they were taught to do by Willie Lynch. What they did yesterday in Missouri to our brother Marcellus Williams is exactly what they were taught to do by Willie Lynch. What they did to Javion McGee on September the 11th, 9-1-1. On September the 11th, 9-1-1. What they did to Javion McGee is what they were taught to do by Willie Lynch. Now, we know the Willie Lynch letter may not be historically accurate, but it is scientifically true. The Willie Lynch letter may not be historically accurate, but it is scientifically true. Just like those of you who believe in the Bible, in the Quran, and the Torah, those books are not historically accurate, but a lot of what's in those books are scientifically true. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand something really clear as I get into this Willie Lynch letter. I want you to understand something really, really clear as I get into this Willie Lynch letter. Kobe Bryant to send a message to all NBA plantation slaves that you do what we tell you to do and don't you ever go against the power structure. I said Kobe Bryant was to send a message to all NBA plantation Negroes that you do what we tell you to do. You better behave like Michael Jordan. Don't you be trying to start your own 
professional basketball league against our wishes. Kobe Bryant was as an example to the NBA plantation slaves. Don't you ever go against your master. Michael Jackson was as an example to the pop in r &B plantation slaves. When we tell you we want our Beatles catalog back, you give us our Beatles catalog back. Michael Jackson was made an example to the pop culture plantation. Kobe Bryant was made an example to the NBA plantation. Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick had his career destroyed so he could be used as an example to the NFL plantation slaves. You better put your hand over your heart. And you better never take a knee. You better put your hand over your heart. And you better never take a knee. Colin Kaepernick was the Willie Lynch example for the NFL slaves. Kobe Bryant was the Willie Lynch example for the NBA slaves. Michael Jackson was the Willie Lynch example for the pop culture plantation slaves. Jonathan Majors was the Willie Lynch example for the Marvel Studio Plantation Slaves. Sean Puffy Combs is the Willie Lynch example for the hip-hop industry Plantation Slaves. Bill Cosby was the Willie Lynch example for the mainstream television Plantation Slaves. And now Eric Adams. Eric Adams is being indicted as a Willie Lynch example. Eric Adams is being indicted as a Willie Lynch example to remind all black politicians in America that you are under a two-party dictatorship. You will never challenge us you are a slave, Negro. Eric Adams, who do you think you are to try to push back now against the migrant crisis? Eric Adams, who do you think you are to think you're going to push back against the migrant crisis when we're trying to get Kamala Harris elected? Are you out of your mind? Do you forget who we are, Eric Adams? You don't go trying to kick up no dust. When we trying to get Kamala into the White House, you done lost your place. You done lost your place. We're going to teach you a lesson, Eric Adams. And in teaching you a lesson, in teaching you a lesson, we're going to teach a lesson to all the black mayors in America. We're going to teach a lesson to all the black congresspersons in America. You don't ever go against the American white power structure. You better hope we don't put your ass in a jail cell next to your boy Puff, who you gave the New York City key to the city last year. Eric Adams, Eric Adams gave Sean Puffy Combs the key to New York City last year. Mayor Eric Adams gave Sean Puffy Combs the key to New York City last year. Oh, no, you got to pay for that. You gave Puffy the key? And you got the audacity to push back against the migrant crisis? You gave Sean Puffy Combs the key to this city? And you got the nerve to push back against the migrant crisis? You lucky we don't put you in the same jail cell with Sean Combs. Sean Combs federally indicted. Eric Adams federally indicted. Sean Combs federally indicted. Eric Adams federally indicted. Brothers and sisters, they going after any black man of influence, of power, of means. If you get out of line, they chopping. Sean Combs is going down for suing that liquor company. Sean Combs tried to bite the hand that feed him. He went against the British Anglo-Saxon power structure. Sean Combs took the British Anglo-Saxon power.
power structure the court and forced them to settle out of court. Two months later, his homes are raided. Eric Adams gave Sean Puffy Combs the key to the city and is trying to push back against the migrant crisis. Now he's getting federally indicted. Oh, they not playing. Bill Cosby beat the old charges. Now the judge just gave permission for new charges against Bill Cosby to proceed. R. Kelly, you don't want to give a certain music company your masters? R. Kelly, you don't want to give up some of your publishing? You know what kind of dirt we got on you, Robert Kelly? You think you're going to stand up against us, boy? Wait until the media get these tapes on you. Sean Puffy Combs, wait until the media get these tapes on you. They don't just want to prosecute these black men. They want to humiliate these black men. They don't just want to prosecute these black men. They want to humiliate these black men. Michael Jackson, you don't want to give the Beatles catalog back? Prince, you don't want to give us your unpublished music? Tupac Shakur, you want to organize the gangs? And you want to start a movement with Mike Tyson? And you want to take on the power structure? Oh no, Tupac Shakur. They not playing, brothers and sisters. They coming for everybody. It is season. It is season on black men and women in this country right now. Willie Lynch is in full effect. 21st century slavery is in full effect. There's only one question that the ancestors want an answer to. Are we going to on our knees or are we going to go out like black men and women? That's the only question. It's time to organize and it's time to unite, brothers and sisters. It's time to organize and it's time to unite. We have to put all petty differences to the side. This country is preparing the American African. I don't care if you want to call yourself a Hebrew. I don't care if you want to call yourself a New Wapian. I don't care if you want to call yourself an Asiatic black man. I don't care if you want to call yourself a pretendian, a freedman, whatever name you want to use. They are preparing to all of us. What are we going to do about it?